Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're going to be looking at Big Walter's Walking By Myself. We're going to be looking at the intro. He does a harmonica introduction which follows the melody, or loosely follows the melody. You can use this lesson in conjunction with a download lesson I have on sale for $4, looking at the solos in the middle, the big double solo, wonderful solo, part, probably my favourite solo of all time in blues harmonica history. So we're going to look at the intro and it sounds a little bit like this. I'm on a D harmonica. So grab your D harmonica. If you haven't got a D, you can still follow the tab, but it won't sound in the same key. Um, I've got a nice new rocket, bright, shiny rocket amp harmonica, so you're going to see some uh, bright green in this lesson. So you can see the tab on the screen. Um, we'll go through it line by line. There's only really four lines to it, or at least the way I've tabbed it out. This is one of those things, and it's a great thing with Big Walters playing, where... Every time you hear it, you hear little subtleties, and I'm not sure if this is the final version of the tab that I'll ever write. I think maybe in the future I might realise, oh, I missed something here or there. There's a few little subtleties we'll talk about when we get into it. But the first line, here we go. Okay, so we've got a three draw at the beginning, but it starts with... A little bend that, that releases what I would call a scoop bend, where you start on a bit of a bend on three and release it to get the three draw natural note. So, like that. Okay, can you hear the way that moves slightly? It's not just one note. It's not, and it's not, it's kind of a bit of both. So with your bending technique, you put a little bit of a bend and release it. So we've got that on the three draw, and then it goes to the four draw straight away. So, and that's the walking. If we were singing it, that's how the melody would go. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Three, four. That's how it goes. Yeah. And then, okay, so we've got three draw. You could maybe put a little bit of a scoop on the three draw again here. It's one of those things that you could listen to harmonica stuff all over blues music and in other contexts, and you'd hear it a lot, a lot on those sorts of notes, those little micro bends that I've put on the start of the line there. You'll hear them a lot, and I might not have put them in on every note where they exist. So have a listen to the song. Um, that applies to my other tabs as well. So the three draw, six blow, five draw, four draw, four blow. So up until there we've got... Okay. Possible sticking point is that three draw jumping to the six blow. The best way to practice this, but in general, is to hone in on the difficult bits. So you might find different parts difficult from the ones I do, but I would find that three draw to the six blow difficult. So I might practice just those two notes on their own um, in order to get used to the jump. Sounds nothing like walking by myself, but it's going to help me when I put it back in. So. Okay. So if we put the first little section and that section together, we'd have one, two, three, four. Okay. I'll try that a little bit slow if you want to play along. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. And then at that point we play the same little three draw scoop we began with onto the four draw. So it go. It's 
So that is repeated again after that middle section of this line. And then the only other thing we have to do to finish this line off is do a big double bend on hole two. So a full step bend, two uh, semitones down on hole two. And preferably a little bit of vibrato on that. If you're capable of getting vibrato technique, With the bends, I tend to use a kind of jaw vibrato where you're up and down with the bend. Really tricky. I'm not the best at that in the world. Maybe yours is better than mine. Uh, but there's a little bit of a vibrato on there that uh, Big Walter puts on this. So um, preferably you want to put that in. And the timing of it, we'd have... So I'll just go from the second uh, and then into the two draw second bend. So... Once more. Okay, so that line in full. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. And the second line we've got. I think that's the phrasing bit there. So two two blow, two draw, and then three draw uh, semitone bend, and then two draw twice. Now you could just play one two draw at the end there. There's a little subtle articulation. He kind of goes, kind of, oh, oh. so it's not really two distinct notes. You could just play one. Anyway. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. I just realized that when I've been playing some of these slower, they're quite hard to play slow in terms of the rhythm. You want to play them nice and slow to get the notes, but it's quite hard to play them rhythmically slow because of the jump and the bounce to the kind of things that he's playing. That kind of... It's, it's so jumpy, it's so lovely and kind of bouncy, hard to play quite slowly. Anyway, um, so that's the second line. Okay. So, so far, if I play the two lines together, we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so the end of the first line onto the second line, you can stay on that hole too. You might want to take a tiny cheeky little breath between, but you can stay there for that uh, for the two blow. Um, in fact, you don't need to take a breath because the two blow is going to get your air out. Okay, next line. So we've got two draw second bend twice. And then... One draw, one blow, one draw again. So we've got. Okay, so that in time would go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. So it starts on kind of the one and, it's just after the one of uh, the first beat of the bar, if you like. Now, if we put all those lines together, the first three lines, we get one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we'd be straight on to the next line, so. So 
So our last line is kind of joined to the previous line, but I think if we had considered them one thing, it would be too much to take in at any one time, so you're better off splitting them up like this. We've got two draw, one draw, one blow, one draw, and then we have two draw, and then you'll see a two in brackets, kind of a grace note. You, you don't have to play it. We can talk about it again in a minute. And then one draw, one draw to finish. So. Okay. So the two uh, blow in brackets, you could play a two blow, you could go, but his is quite subtle, it's almost less a note and more just a breath out. So equally, just as you could play the note, you could kind of just, i put my hands like this, kind of come away from the harmonica a little bit and just breathe out. There's a way of getting air out um, when you need to. It's imperative on the harmonica that you control your breath and control how much air is in and how much is out. You've got to balance that. So this is one of the ways harmonica players do it, is they go. So I'm not really playing the note. I'm actually allowing myself to get more air out by loosening my lips. So you could do that where that little two blow in brackets is. You could just not play it at all. You could just play. Just leave a rest, basically. But I think he's doing some sort of slight little breath out. Again, this is one of those subtleties that sometimes it's hard to tell exactly, and it probably sounds different every time I listen to it, so um, hard to tell exactly. But that last line... What? Two, three, four. Actually, when I played it then, I played the second one draw in that line as a bit of a grace note as well. This is something that crops up here, there, and everywhere, really, this idea of grace notes, the quieter notes, um, passing tones that aren't so melodic as such and just sort of uh, a little filler. So I kind of did it there. I don't know if I'm moving away from what um, Big Walter did. So that's each of the lines. It's not a very long introduction. It's just one way around the melody. I'll just play it in full for you now. Um, and you can play along with me if you want. We'll be in on four. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Again, that last line, I'm sort of changing it a little bit every time, just subtle changes. I should be more disciplined and keep to the tab that I'm telling you. Um, but that would be a kind of a medium tempo. Depending on how fast you want to play it, you might be playing it quite a lot faster than that if you're going for a really rocky sound and kind of more uh, up-tempo rocky sound. So I'll play it once more a little bit faster, just in case anyone wants to play along with me at a faster tempo, so you can keep up with this. So here we go. One. Two, three, four. And then you'd be into the vocals. Walking by myself, I hope you understand. Then there's this wonderful double solo where it actually switches to a 12 bar blues because this isn't a 12 bar blues format, the vocal line and the verse format. The solo in the middle is wonderful, so if you do want to learn it, check out my lesson. It's just four dollars for, um, I think it's getting up to a sort of 45 minute lesson, I'm not sure I'll have to check that. It's a nice long lesson and it um, goes through each line in detail if you want to learn those. 
Um, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed doing this. Um, let me know what your thoughts are and please, if you've enjoyed the video, click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, give me your requests for the future and any questions uh, below in the comments. Cheers, thanks a lot, and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.